Welcome to another vlog. I'm at my usual seat. I wasn't going to show you because you've probably seen it umpteen times guys but because there was that many people passing by here saying what a beautiful view I thought well may as well show you you guys it as well look at that and because that tree is devoid of leaves now it's uh, even more clearer a view and remember what I told you on previous vlogs this was the King's Park, well, it's actually called the King's Park, and this is where the King did all his hunting. You see all the forests up there? You can just imagine them going through there looking for the wild boar and the deer way back in the Tudor times. My memories are full of what, what the past would have been like. So there you are, guys. We better study for these again. We're on a different part of the castle grounds today. I've got my uh, winter boots on. I thought it was time to put on my winter boots, guys. It's getting a bit chilly now. <laughs> I've been in here a couple of times this year, just never filmed it. I've had to put my uh, microphone muffler on today, so. Hopefully you can hear me through this strong wind, this the autumn winds. This is a stormy season, I told you. Look at the view here, guys. Look at that view. Lovely, eh? Zoom in a wee bit for you. Go over here a bit and let you see a bit of the view. These are all war memorial graves. Like right below the castle walls. Yeah. Look at that. That's the road that leads to Loch Lomond. So, we'll have a seat. Let's zoom back. Let's zoom forward. Zoom back. We'll have a little seat here. This is one of my favourite seats as well. <laughs> I've got loads of favourite seats. But anyway, as for this morning, I made... I brought one of my rules. <laughs> I went and done some shop before I came up the hill there. And uh, I've got a whole bag. It's weighty. Of goods. And they're pretty heavy. You'll see in the haul what I'm going to be doing. So, but I, made the <laughs> I made the cardinal mistake of uh, going shopping and buying some stuff before I came on the walk. I usually go my walk first and then go shopping, but I only went to one shop, so that's fine. So I've got my treasure hunting to do once I leave here, as per normal, and I'll have a nice uh, charity shop haul for these coming up. But I thought I'd show you this wee area here, from the castle in the background. I thought I'd show you this wee area here that I sometimes come to. Wait a minute guys, I'm going to have to put my hat on. Oh, just hang on a minute. 
Wind's bleeding, blowing the camera. I had to put my hat on there. Getting a bit chilly when you stop moving about. Yeah, so the castles. I'm sorry if I'm moving you a bit like but I wanted to get the castle in the background. There you are. Lovely, eh? So, today I'm going to try and I've ordered a lot of paints for my big portrait of Elizabeth the First. So, I'm going to show you that me starting that again. I've done a good bit to it, but I want to get, it, get on with it since it's the uh, hibernation time, the winter time. <laughs> so, I'll be stuck indoors more often as per normal at this time of year. So, I want to get that done and dusted so that uh, that's another big painting uh, completed. I might not complete it, but I'm going to be my damnedest <laughs> to do it. Anyway, I thought I'd give you an update there, and I'm going to enjoy the fresh air and surroundings and get back to you. Here's one grave that I thought you might like to see guys. You might actually know this guy. He's a cricketer. In loving memory of Irvin Bancroft, illustrious cr cricketer, Freeman of the City of Stirling, came into back in Jamaica, 20 January 1924. Lovely, eh? I thought I'd show you that one. There's loads. I'll probably go through them another day with you. I couldn't pass this one by, guys. Look at this. Here lies a man of Christian faith, buried in Stirling's Dominican Priory, around the time of Scotland's Wars of Independence, we interred here in 2020 at the request of the Provost and the Baileys. That's a historical one. Me loving history as well. Now I'm back home, I'll show you the Elizabeth I portrait. I'll get it out of the box first. I've got it in that big box there. Leave these down there the new. This is where I keep a lot of my paintings that say uh, unfinished. This is her. I'm gonna put her up in the wall. You see her? Oh. That's her guys, as you can see I've got the dress to do so I'm going to put her up on the wall where it's easier for me to look at and to, to paint. So, sit you there. As 
just so that I can <laughs> get it out the road. There, look at that. Isn't she lovely? I've got more to do than what I thought, so I need to get started on this. But this is a huge painting, guys. That's my bear one. <laughs> Panda. Oh, I'll need to lower that down a bit and get painting on it. Lovely. Got what the details to put in your face, yeah. The dress, I've got the whole dress to complete. Next! That's to get completed as well. Uh, I like these into what I'm going to be doing. There's going to be a the panda's going to be sitting on a throne, a gold throne. He's going to have a crown on. There's going to be a snake coming up the side here, and different things. So that's to get completed. So these are both the same size, guys. Huge canvas. I just can't remember this the size. I'm going the back somewhere. I'll let you know. Probably when I start painting it. <laughs> yeah, that's me ready now. I've got her up in the position I want, so she's at height to paint. Uh, and I have ordered new paints and brushes to complete this canvas. And here I'm going to be putting some ships. Uh, I've got a wallpaper mat to do. Blah, blah, blah. You'll see as it goes along, this is going to be a, a piece of armour that Elizabeth wore uh, when she was, uh, what was it, uh, oh, what was it, my memory, when she was fighting the Spanish uh, Armada, she wore uh, armour to uh, relay messages to her troops and whatever. She had a, a famous speech on her horse. This is her just after uh, giving that speech and she's back in the palace. So, look out and you'll see me doing it. Thought I'd show you. <laughs> well, I thought if I get it out of the box and I put it up here, it's in my face, so I have to get it done, don't I? And I've ordered paints, so I don't want them coming for nothing, so. Next few vlogs you'll see me at it. Next! <laughs> well, ho hopefully this is next. And guys, please excuse my grammar. Sometimes I kind of get my words as you're probably now <laughs> just, it just The words are there but they just don't come out, so bear with me. Right guys, I'm going to show you what I do with the extra paints. The vlog yesterday, you seen how I had lots, I had put uh, lots of acrylic in the chain, whatever, just in case I needed it, but I'll show you, I, I, I hate wasting paint guys, I don't have to use, but I see these artists on the television and uh, they're wiping their, their excess paint on cloths and everything, and to me that's a waste of paint, uh, so I like to use it nearly every last job. I'm not a miser or nothing like that, but I just don't like to see good paint going to waste. So I'll show you what I do with my extra paint. Take these off here first. This tripod so I can show you what I've got left of the paint. Right guys. He's still there. <laughs> now, I have a little drop of his face. I've got a little drop of the uh, yellow, well the yellow orange and the black. So. That's two that I've got left over. The reason I put a towel over this, guys, is to keep the acrylic uh, wet, and it does it. If you put a damp towel over the acrylic, it keeps it wet. So I've got the blue in it, and the, the fa uh, skin tone and the orange. So as you can see, I've still got quite a few bits left. Not much, but I've got a few. So I'll show you what I do with it. Down here, I've got all my my watercolour pads, or my artist pads anyway, and I'll show you. This is for previous. I just move this light there, guys, so that there's a little more light. That's better. That's better. Right, 
This is the pad guys that I, I use for sketching and whatever, but uh, what I normally do is, wait a minute, that's, that's a new one. Let's get a one that's, I keep them down there so that it keeps, I know exactly where to get, but look, this is extra paint. I love doing uh, different types of paintings, so, yeah. and paintings, guys, as you know, you need extra, extra background. I kind of do this with this camera, guys, so, wait, I'll put his back in the stand. Right, <laughs> I'll show you what I've done. <laughs> This is better, two hands now. God, that one is empty as well, is it? No, I'm on the wrong side, right? Let's get it open, right? I'll show you what I mean. That palava, eh? Right. These are all excess paints that I had. And see how they do, do nice backgrounds? I've still got the other one that I've put on there. That one's just a bit done. Just got some trees and whatever to put in branches, leaves around there. But these are what I, I'm trying to tell you about not wasting any of your paints because if you've got a big notebook or even a small notebook like one hand. Look at that one, guys. It's an osprey. But anyway, you get the gist, don't you? You get the gist. Look, there's extra paint I had. There's extra paint I had and there's a, there's a, a shape of a hair in there. Still to get done. There's a shape of an L, still in progress. There's an eagle's head. I don't know if you can make that out. There's the eye, the beak. Uh, but this is what I do, guys. So there's one that I've drawn in. We took the, the background as so be it. So I'll show you uh, what I, I do. I'll get a blank page. Uh, in fact, this is a new, a new one here. So, I'll show you what I do, I'll put you back in the stand. So, you better have a big brush for this. This is one I've been using, so these ones will get washed. What to do, guys, is just dip it in. Get the excess. And just spread it on. This is what I do, uh, and it does a, this is a background for any future paintings or sketches. It saves you in the long run, and it also saves you get every part, last drop up, guys. You know what I mean? And as you see guys, it gives me an instant background for any of my paintings.